In an earlier video, we discussed the six major types of proteins that are classified by their functions, catalytic, contractile, immunological, regulatory, structural, and transport. In this video, we're going to focus on one important group of catalytic proteins called enzymes. A catalyst is any chemical substance that causes or speeds up a chemical reaction. The catalyst is not changed or destroyed by the reaction and can be reused many times. Most catalysts in cells are enzymes and have names that usually end in the suffix ASE. Enzymes are named according to the type of reaction they catalyze. For example, lipases are digestive enzymes that break down lipids. Proteases break down proteins. Oxidases add oxygen to a reaction, etc. There are over 1,000 enzymes found in the human body, and each one is very efficient at its job of catalyzing specific chemical reactions. There are three properties of enzymes that make them so good at what they do. First, enzymes are incredibly specific molecules. Each enzyme bonds to one specific substrate, which is the reactant molecule that the enzyme acts upon. Every enzyme has a unique three-dimensional shape that allows it to recognize and bond with its substrate in a particular way. The part of the enzyme that binds to the substrate and catalyzes the reaction is called the active site, outlined in red. The active site has a unique shape that complements the substrate matching up with it in a way similar to how two jigsaw puzzle pieces fit together, or how a key fits into a lock. Secondly, enzymes are very efficient at their jobs. Without an enzyme, a reaction may occur after many seconds, minutes, or hours, or it may not even occur at all. But with an enzyme, the reaction rate of those same reactions increases millions of times faster. Enzymes can convert thousands to hundreds of thousands of substrates into products every second. The third property of enzymes is that their concentration and reaction rate are under cellular control through genes and the cell's chemical environment. Most enzymes come in two flavors, an active and inactive form, and chemicals inside the cell are used to turn enzymes on or off. These chemicals, called activators and inhibitors, are analogous to how we use a light switch to turn lights in a room on or off. Enzymes catalyze reactions by first making contact with their substrate or substrates, at the enzyme's active site, forming a temporary compound called the enzyme-substrate complex. In this example, sucrase is the enzyme, and the disaccharide sucrose and water are the two substrates. Next, the reaction is catalyzed and the substrate molecules are transformed into products in various ways through atom rearrangement, decomposition, or synthesis. In our example, sucrose is broken down through a decomposition reaction into its two monosaccharide products, glucose and fructose. After the reaction is finished, the products move away from the enzyme. The enzyme sucrase remains unchanged, and its active site is now open to receive fresh substrates, allowing the enzyme to continue catalyzing the same reaction. Enzymes make chemical reactions in cells very efficient. By reusing enzymes, cells can save tremendous amounts of energy by not having to remake an enzyme every time it's used. Earlier in this unit, 
we learned that enzymes lower the amount of activation energy, the energy needed to start a reaction. Enzymes are able to do this because they make the reaction less random and help increase the number of collisions between they and their substrates. They also save energy by aligning the substrates together in the active site in their correct molecular orientation, reducing the need for additional activation energy.